There have been some new developments in the Enzaletics versus Nevada transfer case. The case has a new complaint, a new named defendant, and new allegations against Demeter Savoff. I'm going to dive into these changes and explain what they could mean for Enzaletics' effort to retake and retire nearly 72 million shares of ENZC stock. Now, a huge note here before we start, I did a video about the detailed background on this case that you should watch if you haven't had already. This video is an update to that case, and it builds on that information, so check that out before you watch this one. Previously, Enzaletics was suing to get a declaration from the court that a former associate, Demeter Savoff, was not entitled to about 72 million shares of ENZC stock. They were also asking for the court to stop their transfer agent, Nevada Transfer, from allowing Savoff and his friends from getting those shares. Since then, Nevada Transfer was dismissed from the case because they were no longer Enzaletics' transfer agent, which meant they had nothing to do with ENCZ stock anymore. So they weren't part of the situation. On September 22nd, just a few days ago from this video, Enzaletics filed an amended complaint that updates their lawsuit to include their new transfer agent, Empire Stock Transfer, as a defendant, and adds some new allegations against Demeter Savoff. When you file an admitted complaint, you're telling the court that you need to change the lawsuit that you originally filed. Typically, this happens when you're adding a new party, like a new defendant, or adding some new claims or allegations or attaching some new evidence, or you're trying to fix some errors in the old document. The amended complaint legally replaces the old complaint. Now, here's what's new in this amended complaint that Enzaletics filed. First, Enzalytics added a new defendant. They added their current transfer agent, Empire Stock Transfer. They're suing them because they're trying to get the court to order Empire not to give any stock to Demeter Savoff or his associates. Why would they sue their own agent, you ask? Because Empire has a financial duty under the law to Savoff to transfer him any stock that he is entitled to. Nobody has proven yet that Savoff does not own the stock. He had an agreement and a contract that gave him the stock, so technically he owns it as far as the transfer company is concerned. However, Enzaletics is asking the court to declare that Savoff doesn't have any stock because he didn't fulfill the contract. But filing a lawsuit doesn't do anything until the court rules on it. Until that happens, on paper, the stock is his. But Enzaletics doesn't want him to get the stock, and neither does Empire. But Empire can't legally say no to Savoff and withhold the stock from him unless there's a court order saying that. How do you get a court order to stop this? Well, you have to sue the person or company that has the power to do the thing that you don't want to happen. Enzalytics has to sue Empire, essentially, to get a court order that basically gives Empire permission to refuse Savoff's request to transfer him any stock. Without the court order, Empire has a duty by law to give him the stock whether they want to or not. So Enzalytics is suing Empire now to get the court to restrain Empire from carrying out that duty. Now here's where things turn into an imminent situation. Earlier this month, on September 2nd, an associate of Savoff approached Empire and asked for some of his stock, just like he did with the previous transfer agent. Empire said that they'd hold off for a month from the request to give Enzaletics in the court time to figure things out. But on October 3rd, without a court order saying otherwise, the Empire will transfer about 200,000 shares of ENZC stock and then Savoff's associate can sell the stock or whatever else he wants to do with it. Now, Enzalytics is asking, because of this emergency situation, for something that's called a Temporary Restraining Order, or a TRO. What this is, is they submit a document called a motion, a motion for TRO, which basically is just a request asking for that restraining order. Now, remember that I said nobody has proven yet that Savoff doesn't have the stock, and that doesn't happen until the court rules in the lawsuit. That final ruling is going to take a long time, a lot longer than October 3rd. A TRO is a court order that stops Empire from giving save off the stock until the court rules on the case. It's temporary, the T of TRO, while the court hears the lawsuits. TROs are usually granted when there's some sort of emergency need to stop the action from happening. Usually that's because if the action actually happens, then someone involved in the lawsuit will be permanently and seriously harmed if that action isn't stopped before the court gets to rule on the actual case. Now here, if Empire gives Savoff's associate the 200,000 shares, granted it's only 200,000 shares out of 72 million, doesn't feel like a lot, but those shares are likely gone for good if he sells them. 
regardless of whether Enzalytics wins the case. If Saveoff's associate then sells the 200,000 shares on the market, those are pretty much gone because we're not going to know where they go. We can't track them. And Enzalytics won't be able to get it back if they win. So you have a court ruling that would say, hey, Enzalytics, you get all of your shares back except for the ones we can't find. So there's a good argument for some imminent emergency harm coming to Enzalytics that will happen if the court doesn't stop Empire from giving away those shares. Now, Empire agrees with this. They want to withhold the shares. They, they're the agent for Enzalytics. They want to follow that direction. But under the law, legally, they have to do that as a financial um, transfer company like that. They have to do this. So Enzalytics needs to get the court order to stop Empire, to give Empire that permission to stop the transfer. So that's big change one, right? A new request for a court order to stop Empire from giving Saveoff and Associates any new shares on October 3rd. And it would also prevent any of those nearly 72 million shares from being moved at all before the court rules in the lawsuit. Big change number two with this amended complaint is that Enzalytics has come out swinging against Saveoff with several new allegations. Before, in the original complaint, it was just a lawsuit for getting the shares back and then getting some interest from Saveoff with what he earned from wrongfully holding the shares over time. But now it's getting serious. They're accusing Saveoff of defamation and interference with contractual relations. Now, these allegations have to do with Saveoff telling other companies that he actually owns all of Enzaletic's patents, which is not true. He allegedly went around to many of the company's potential partners and told them that Enzaletic's was, quote, a hollow company, unquote that didn't have any rights to the patents that they were claiming to be working on. These are those immunizations, vaccines, and all these medical treatments that can help uh, with HIV and COVID and other viruses. According to Enzalytics, this caused several partnerships and negotiations to fizzle out, including one with Creative Biolabs that I know a lot of stockholders were really hoping was happening. Creative Biolabs and Enzalytics had a cooperation agreement, but only one day after Saveoff emailed them, Creative canceled the partnership. This was in July, just two months ago, on July 21st. So it's all relatively recent. So now this case is more than just a breach of contract lawsuit involving some stock. Enzalytics is going after Saveoff because he has caused, allegedly, a ton of financial damage by destroying relationships. They want him to pay for all the lost potential money and prove in court that he was lying. I would assume they're hoping to go back to their potential partners after the case is over and show them that this guy was just making trouble. Maybe they can even get back some of those partnerships. There's clearly some bad blood between Saveoff and Enzalytics. It almost looks like they're retaliating back and forth against each other here, but what matters is that Enzalytics is the one going to court. Saveoff is just talking over in Bulgaria. Enzalytics has taken some action, and that means a lot. The court is going to sort it out now. So what happens next? Well, the TRO has to come in before October 3rd, so we can expect something to happen in the court between now and the 2nd. Empire doesn't oppose the idea, like I said, and they have said that they will follow any court order. That's a good sign for Enzalytics here. It certainly seems like some financial harm will happen if those shares are given to save off, and Empire agrees with the request, so it's hard to see why the court wouldn't grant that order sometime before the third. Now, as for the rest of the case, we're still waiting for Enzalytics to serve the lawsuit. Remember, they actually have to give the lawsuit to the defendant to save off, but now they have to serve the amended complaint to him. That's going to take time because it's in an international case. He's out in Bulgaria. But once he gets the summons and the amended complaint, he'll have a chance to respond to the lawsuit, which will take a few weeks. The court has asked Enzalytics' attorney to give an update on this effort by October 15th, so we should learn more around that time. I'll, of course, have more analysis about everything when we get new information, but that's what's going on with this case so far. Pretty big developments, but still nothing really yet. Stay with the channel, hit that subscribe button to get new updates as the videos roll out, and come hang out with us in the Discord server where we have a dedicated ENZC channel to talk about the company, the stock, and the lawsuit. The link to the Discord server is in the video description below. Remember to always, always do a full due diligence on all of your trades and make informed financial decisions, and I'll see you all next time.